Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three, guys. Yes, number three. Rick and I traveled from Asheville um, today. Actually, we did a pit stop on Hilton Head Island and visited with mom and then uh, hopped in the car the next morning today and drove down to our home in sunny Florida. And uh, it's hot. It's Africa hot down here. And I left beautiful, beautiful mountain temperatures. But uh, we needed to be down because we had some things going on here at the house. So grateful to be here, guys. Grateful to be in my studio and uh, to do a little unwinding while Rick is in the cook in the kitchen cooking, I thought I'd come in here and paint a little bit. We are working today on a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. And um, I'm trying to do a painting again that I did a while back. Now I don't have all the colors that I had initially and I'll go over that with you, but uh, I figured I'd improvise and uh, we're going to do a swipe. We're going to be doing a swipe with damp bounty paper towels cut into different sizes. They are wet on just the bottom inch on both sides and I cut them up, leave them stacked right here next to me. Easy breezy. Our pouring medium today, guys, is my swiping pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol and 50% Golden Oh, I get that wrong every darn time. It's 50% Floetrol, 50% go <laughs> take three, 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, the Liquitex with the black and gray label, and a big healthy squeeze of Golden GAC 800 in every one of my paints. Um, what else? Our base coat. The base coat on the original painting that I did um, had some browns in it and some uh, some uh, burnt umber. And I had absolutely no brown here, so I had to make my own brown. And how did I make this yummy brown for my base coat? Well, it was easy. We all know what makes brown, and that is purple and yellow. So we have Amsterdam Standard Series in the uh, violet blue, closest I had to a purple. And we had Artist, Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow. Mixed these two together, got them to a nice consistency, and then I added to it a little bit of the Artist Loft Soft Body in the black. And we came up with this yummy, chocolatey, good color. And I added to my list that I need to get some brown, some Van Dyke brown or some rich espresso from DecoArt. I did a drip test and I do this every once in a while just to keep this girl honest because if any of my paints are going to be heavier than the other paints, it's usually the base coat color, and it usually is because it's in a bigger container, and I'm using a bigger stir stick. And so it feels different from my three ounce cups and my smaller stir stick. So just to keep me honest every once in a while, I do a little drip test on these paper plates. And um, I did good. I did good for... Uh, for a swiping girl. <laughs> Let's talk about our other colors, guys, because they are delicious. Here we go. In this yummy cup right here, I initially used in the original pour that I did, I used golden fluid acrylics in the uh, iridescent bright gold, but I didn't have any of that. So what I mixed instead was Decor Dazzling Metallics in the Splendid Gold, started out with this, and then just added a drizzle of the DecoArt 24 karat gold. Why just a drizzle? Because that beautiful 24 karat gold is very, very bossy, but it tends to make some lovely, lovely cells. Let's take a look at that consistency. And I think I need just a little bit of water in here. This is the only paint that got water because the rest of my paints 
our uh, fluid paints. Right here we have the Golden Fluids Q-Word in the Nickel Azo Gold. Took absolutely no water. We are about a half a part paint to four parts PM. You don't need a lot of these high pigmented paints and it keeps its color beautifully. Right here, Golden Fluids in the Iridescent Gold. Absolutely no water needed, just my 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and a big old squirt of GAC 800. Yummy color right here. These are good fall colors, guys. Golden Fluids, and that is their Burnt Sienna. And right here for good luck, my first golden paint that I ever bought, and I've been in love with it ever since, Golden Fluids in the Iridescent Pearl. So, what are we doing? We're doing a swipe, but we're going to be doing a swipe um, using a uh, traveling straight pour. So after I get my base coat done, I'm going to layer my paints in this order that you see right here, the Pearl, the Bird Sienna, the Gold Light, the Nickel Azo Gold, and then the Deco Art Gold. And we are going to swipe up and swipe down and try to replicate one of my favorite paintings that I ever did, guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy that I am here, guys. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy. Oh, no. I gave my heart away. Went a bit too far. So wrong. Mess. 
your breath on my chest so calm Of love. 